Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Healing Through Writing. My name is Empress Pamela and today we are addressing prompt number 229. I will read the prompt twice and then I'll share with you my response. Prompt number 229. Name something you could not be objective about. Name something you could not be objective about. Something I could not be objective about is the magnitude of love I have for my two sons. There is no stronger bond with built-in blinders than a mother's love for her children. After all, they are a part of her. They share each other's biology. There is also a bio, psycho, social, and environmental connection. We are in the age of self-love, self-expression, and self-acceptance. Since the birthing of a child is a sacred bond, in a sense, the two are one. The intensity and strength of this bond is subjective, sacred, and unknown to no one else except the mother and the child. So that sounds a little undone, to be honest with you. I could go on um, about the connection between self-love, meaning you love your child as if they are your, yourself. And so mm, being objective is probably um, a stretch because we're trying to love ourselves no matter how we are. I don't know. I, that's a little confusing. I think I just confused myself and you at the same time. Anyway, I'd be interested to see what your answer is. Um, prompt number 230. Have you ever competed in anything? Team sports, spelling bee, etc. What did you learn from it? Did you like it? Prompt number 230. Have you ever competed in anything? Team sports, spelling bee, etc. What did you learn from it? Did you like it? Intrinsically, I have a competitive spirit. Whether it is a friendly game of crazy eights or kings in the corner with my 84-year-old mother or a family monopoly marathon, I am always glad to be on the winning end. I recall spelling, bill, spelling bees in elementary school when I was so proud of myself to be one of the last few standing. I remember Tetris challenges that lasted hours as a form of foreplay between my husband and I. Even if I were to race my son doing laps in the pool or play a game or two of tennis against my husband, I always shoot to win. So there you have it. Healing through writing. It's a concept. Grab onto it. Sometimes you'll never see what you really think until you're asked the question. See you in the next video.